internet is reacting to these racist incidents that happened in Italy and Australia recently. Now, the question is, are things getting worse for Asians overall, or are these things just getting caught on tape? Yeah, we got to talk about it because it's going viral, especially in uh, Asian internet circles. So let's run the clips. First one's from Italy. Second one is from Australia. <laughs> Go down, I said. Down, I said. Go down. Down. Stop. You. Down. Why? What's wrong? Down. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Chinese. Go down. All right, Andrew, let's talk about this Italy clip first. This was on a train from Lake Como to Milan, and there is a Pakistani girl who's a filmmaker. Her boyfriend is half white and half Chinese. He's speaking Chinese to his full Chinese mother. There are three well-dressed, like, Italian college girls in the back of the train making fun of the language, mm -hmm. being like, ha, 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 ni hao, chinese, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Um, this went viral. Yeah, I mean, I think initially you look at it and be like, okay, nothing physical happened. Are they saying the most heinous? malicious words no but i think it's because they're two i mean they're three presentable nice like italian college students and they look like they might have a tiktok channel they look like they come from good families they look educated they don't look like the group of people that should be so ignorant and should be so unapologetic right. about them mocking asians like i think they see the camera and they almost right. look at it and they're just like still ah, they almost ah, look ah. like some upper middle class like the equivalent of italian sorority or like mean popular school yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I think that that is hitting differently, especially when you compare it to like maybe racist, random things that uh, somebody on the street says who's like maybe mentally ill or homeless. You kind of write it off as like, for oh, sure, for mentally sure. ill, yeah. Let's be honest. Suburban types of racism that are more like moving towards microaggression, they tend to go more viral than something extremely visceral. Mm -hmm. I mean, those go viral in a different way, like something in the trailer park of the hood. That It's just perceived completely it is, differently. It is, it is. Let's get into the comment section. Someone said, well, you girls are going to get impacted for life. Was it worth it to have your little chatty, mean girls like making fun of people like at the lunch table thing over racism? Um, I personally don't think that their lives are changed forever, but I think their week uh, was bad. And I think they got a lot of bad attention on social media, and I'm sure that you know some uh, their classmates embarrassed them, and they are seen a little bit differently. Uh, but I think when the college apologized and said you know, here at the college, like we don't want to expel them, but we want to educate them because we want to be, you know, we don't want to feed into the outrage and the, and the, and the fear. And I was like, okay, I guess that kind of makes sense um, because even them making that public statement is kind of a big deal, no? Yeah, I mean, listen guys, I think it's very different uh, from the US, Canada, UK, Australia. Like Italy is not a super woke when it comes to social justice country, to be honest. Somebody said Italian culture is very paradoxical because because they are very strict on how you cook carbonara, but they are very lenient on racism, which is actually a really funny comment. Uh, no, 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 no. You can't cook the carbonara that way. Uh, but yes, you can make fun of, of all the Chinese people. And somebody <laughs> said uh, Italians are more so ignorant and naive and less true hate yeah. in their heart and less superiority complex. It's different. You have to understand in British countries, it's much more subtle, but they might actually hate you or feel superior to you. So how do you rank these two different types of racism against each other? Mm. It's true. Everybody will have all these stories in the comment section of like, yes, I am Chinese. I grew up in Italy. Uh, everybody made fun of me and called me Chinese, Malarize every day, but uh, you know, no violence. So yeah. how, how do you rank these two things? I, I guess if they're making the argument that the culture in Italy is to mock and tease a lot, right? That's what they're saying. Versus like in Britain, they might be polite to you and they might say, oh, excuse me. But in their brain, they're like, oh my God, get the F out of my country. Right. I guess how culturally relative to this are we supposed to be? Because somebody else said that, uh, yeah, Italians are also racist towards each other. If you're from Sardinia or Sicily, which is considered a lower ranked province of Italy, they might treat you different or make comments towards you. Somebody said, yeah, I'm even Italian American. I speak Italian, not that good. But when I went over there, they were talking trash about me until I let them know I understood. Yeah, wow, there are a lot of different regions in Italy. That's also why the food is really good, but also why they are like racist towards each other. So I don't really 
It's hard to rank, right? It. It's like, hard to judge. You know, I remember, Andrew, there was uh, the Spanish basketball team, the national team. They were always, like, doing the eye thing when yeah. they went to Beijing to play. Yeah, and people did. were like, whoa, you guys had your Olympic program all do the slanted eye gesture? And they're like, ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, excuse it, excuse it. Yeah, well, they're like, hey, you know, in our country, like, we did not execute or hang any Asian people. So, like, we just let them work. So what do you mean? I just tease, I tease. Yeah, I don't know. Because, it's tough to because, say because some countries are just less violent, but they're more insulting. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to bring it, guys. Literally, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I think there's a lot of opinions on it. Somebody said, I regret taking so much racism growing up in old America. This reminds me what these girls are doing to this family. That happened to me 30, 35 years ago in America. And my dad just told me to keep my head down. And finally, when I got older, I realized it's because they simply just feel like you're inferior and they're superior. And I really regret standing by and taking it now that I'm watching these videos from Europe, which seems to be 20 to 30 years behind. Well, race well should Asians train themselves to be better at like verbal comebacks? Should they yell back and at least say something, at least get something off the Asian's chest? You know, I'm not telling Asians to always be violent, but if you want to step up, you gotta you have some words ready. I definitely think in 2023, Asians gotta think about how they react, would react. I'm not gonna tell them to all react the same way. Everybody has different feelings about everything, but everybody's gotta think about it more. Um, what did you think about the debate, Andrew? There was a crazy amount of comments saying, did the school basically dismiss this claim of racism the girls had when they were like, ah, oh, we're not going to punish, we're just going to seek to educate them. And then uh, basically people were saying, well, these people fundamentally, they do not have respect for Asians, so how are you gonna educate them to respect them? Yeah, I was reading some comments saying that the girls didn't officially apologize and the college just said that just to, I, I, at the end of the day, listen, the college's official statement was that they're going to like educate the girls or that they talk to the girls about this. Now, whether anything happens or not, I do think that does mean something in my opinion because the college is not responsible for their actions. But of course, it went viral. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. From, I guess the more archetypical thing, I'm actually surprised the universities even issued any statements, right? Yeah. Um, somebody said, you have to understand, it is because the Chinese ruined Italy. They ruined the clothing industry. Then they brought COVID. So that is the reason why. I'm not saying it's right, but we have our reasons. Yeah, I just think that there's a lot of frustration. And again, like... I'm sure because Italy did get hit pretty hard by COVID and also all these other things. And maybe they're tired of hearing that 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 pasta comes from China or whatever it could be. <laughs> right. Everybody has they're, their reason. They're reasons. sick of the Wenzo people yeah. making bags. right now. But there, there's so many reasons that can stack. But I think the point is, like, if you want to protest that kind of stuff, man, or if you're mad that Chinese are buying all the factories or buying all this property, then you got to go protest the Chinese who are actually buying the property and not just random Chinese people or on the even train. the Italians that are for sure getting rich selling it to them too not only that Andrew somebody said that the uh, entire Italian luxury designer industry whether handbags or clothing is being upheld by Chinese right now foreign sales guys you know China. what I heard I'm not saying this is true for all factories but I heard in some luxury factories in Italy when it says made in Italy it's being made by Chinese people in Italy so Chinese people are moving to Italy to work in the factories and make a lot of some of the luxury goods. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what people are mad about, to be honest. I mean, listen, this is capitalism. I think there's a lot of different, um, like, people at play in this ecosystem, but you're choosing selectively to be mad at uh, a certain part, probably because they look different and they have a different culture and they speak different languages. Somebody said, well, I just noticed I traveled around the world and everybody's racist, but how come whites are the only ones that got to feel bad for it? Mm. So, I mean, I think, first of all, there is some truth to that, that there is ethnocentrism everywhere on Earth. However, somebody's other comment said, yeah, I'm pretty sure white or whitish adjacent looking people like these Italian girls won the world for the past 300 to 500 years. And that's why you mostly see whites be racist or that's the most visible kind that we all identify. The kind that makes the white looking people superior and everybody else inferior to them. Mm. And then somebody said, well, you know, I think in Tokyo, certain uh, 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 non-Japanese people are not allowed in Japanese. Japanese clubs and in Russia, Siberia, the white Russians don't let the Asian Russians into their stores. So it happens everywhere. And somebody said, well, yeah, that's the same dynamic, but it's actually a lighter skin, a darker skin dynamic. So obviously these comments are going like all around the world. There is racism all over the world on all different levels. Okay. And I generally rate things 
when I like really care about them, I rate it on like the scale of how close or how physical and how violent did that interaction become. Mm. If it was just mocking words from a group of giggling girls, that's rude. Right, it seems like the but, worst type of racism on the playground or the lunchroom, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but it's not the worst form of it because I've seen worse forms of it, you know, that turn into violence. Andrew, that leads us to our next incident from Queensland, Australia, ah, Brisbane-like. Not Sydney, Queensland. Which is uh, more bogan or more nativist. A uh, little perhaps. bit more like... Uh, Leave caller. Maybe, or maybe a little bit like no way. If you don't look like me, can't be a true Aussie. Yeah, there's quite a lot, <laughs> lot more laborers out there. So let's know. just run the clip one more time, just as a refresher, Andrew. This is a 69-year-old, I guess, Anglo-Saxon Australian man. He's like effing Chinese, but to a Thai Muay Thai instructor and a Korean couple that are all friends. I believe they're all foreigners or all living in Australia. I don't know if they have citizenship or not. Somebody said. Wow, this guy was a true martial artist. He really showed restraint, especially when the old man hit the Korean wife over the head with his crutches. They still could have taken that guy down really bad, but they didn't. Of course, some people were saying they should have taken him down, and this caused a bunch of arguing. Yeah, well, when you hear that there was a Muay Thai instructor there, you're usually thinking, they're like, oh, shoot, he's about to... At least put him in a leg lock. They're going to hit him in some leg kicks and some elbows, but... First of all, I do think that what was preventing it is that I do think that this is a group of immigrants. I think they're fobs, and clearly their English is heavily accented, so I don't think they've been there for very long. So they might be feeling out of place. Also, we don't know the details. I don't know if they're supposed to be fishing there, but regardless, besides the fact, the white Australian dude did not need to hit the woman, but... It is true, as a lot of martial arts teachers, they try to show a lot of restraint because Right, because he's like, one punch from me would just, yeah. like, turn this guy into dust, Exactly. Right? You know what could happen. If you punch an old man, he's going to slip, hit his head, and then now it's a whole big thing. Yeah. Somebody said, oh, this happened to me in Queensland, too, but uh, I slapped the bejesus out of the dude, so maybe mm. that's what I was waiting maybe, to see. Maybe hit him with, the, what, uh, hit him with what five fingers said to the face. Yeah. Pow. Somebody said if he did this in the U.S. to any other group other than Asians, to be honest, this old guy might be dead. Wow. I mean, it's honestly, the U.S. Uh, is a very crazy place. It's different than Australia. Um, somebody said, well, I'm glad they didn't beat up this old guy because he looks like he has dementia and he's drunk. My mom's got dementia. Uh, does it excuse this behavior, though? Because he's like, F and Johnny, you're stealing everything. Show me what you got. Ah! I, 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 I could imagine him getting slapped. A good slap in the face. Open palm, not a punch. Open palm. Ha! Um, somebody said, well, to be fair, I think that he thought or maybe these Asians actually were illegally fishing. Maybe some of the young, white, strapping Aussie boys would have taught them a real lesson. So this was obviously from a, uh, probably a fellow bogan from Queensland. Right. So what do you think of that? Like, I guess what I'm saying is these guys are trying to say their justification. Just but, like the Italians, some yeah. of them are like, uh, they're See, doing it. Hey. Somebody's like, well, they're ruining Australia. Well, what I knew is Australia suits. Nah, maybe it's not right, but I know where they're coming from. And this is what I don't like about those internet comments. It's because you're making judgments. Guys, the white guy didn't say what the Asians were doing wrong. Uh, he got to point he out the say, exact legal code. Listen, if he was like, yeah, you freaking Asians, you're stealing the fish. You're fishing illegally. I know you don't got a permit. And I'm, I live right down the block and I always catch you guys. Like he didn't explain his case. He was just rambling crazy racist stuff. So again, guys, we don't really know what happened, but he shouldn't have hit the woman because there was no violence before that. And that could have been really bad for him. He's lucky the group of Asians did not Somebody Damn. said, uh, I'm an Asian Australian, and yeah, it's pretty normal for certain whites in certain areas like Queensland to pretty much still think they run the whole world. And somebody said, uh, hey, listen, guys, I'm white, but I'm not British or Anglo. I don't think Luka Jokic or Sengun think they run the world. It's just one group of people. Uh, so don't let, uh, keep us all of us whites out of it. I'm from Eastern Europe. Um, somebody said, uh, you know, he's just trying to be a proud Aussie and the Chinese are ruining Australia. So this is my justification. And somebody said, uh, hey, guys, listen, we're not all Chinese. Remember that. And somebody else came through and said, wait, so if they were Chinese, it would have been justifiable, which leads to that's a whole nother complicated thing because that's an inter-Asian thing. Andrew, let us get into our takeaways. I'm sure we could read comments for like another hour. Andrew, is this bound to happen? Is it increasing more? Is it or is it just happening because everybody's got a four? K camera phone in their pocket. It's going to happen more, um, but I don't know if it, this stuff always kind of happened, but I do think 
with how geopolitics they are and there's more and more Chinese people moving around the world, uh, doing business, doing good business. All types of Asians, but yeah, yeah particularly the Chinese, because yeah. China's the most population. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Chinese and I don't think not 100% of the Chinese are acting maybe the way they should be. And so there is a lot of frustrations from these groups that dominate their country because they feel like, oh, there's this foreign group coming in and they got all this money and they're doing whatever right. they and want. I always read I'm in the post in all the magazines that they're going to take over the world. Like we had the yeah. last 300. I can't imagine that this group's going to have the next 300. So what I would say to them, the people who are mad at like Chinese people, for example, or Chinese looking people, I'd be like, listen, if you want to protest Chinese people buying properties, you got to go protest to the people of your country that are getting rich from selling their property to the Chinese, or you should go protest to the government and tell them to stop letting Chinese people in. It does no good by messing with like Asian looking citizens. It literally has right, zero Whether impact. they're Chinese or like, not, it doesn't change the justification. Like if you want to have impact in this and actually want to change things, that's not how you do it. You're being an idiot. So, I mean, of course, they're not being rational anyway. So, But uh, for I some think? reason, I'm not really mad at the guy who, th uh, guy who th uh, sold his property for like $4 million. I'm just mad at the guy who looks different from me who bought it. Like I'm not, listen, I'm not telling people to do this, but if you want to go vandalize a billionaire Chinese house or car that you see, that would make a lot lot more sense to me than bothering like middle class lower middle class Asians that are just trying it. to live their life I mean it's not okay on any level yeah but I'm just saying like just from the like logical well the standpoint. truth is I don't think that any of these people are being logical right they, no are, they have logical. some hatred in their heart or some sort of misguided thing they heard it from the media they heard it from their uncle they heard it from this person that person and they're completely villainizing the entire group or even just a look of people at some point um Andrew, do you think soft power can impact this? I guess this is more of the side where it's like, if people like Chinese food more or Chinese products or any, any type of Asian product, is this less likely to happen? I don't uh, think this old guy from Queensland or those Italian girls were big K-pop, J-pop, anime, Wu Xiaopian, you, Kung Fu fans. Wait, you're saying that uh, you don't think that he watched uh, Everything Everywhere all at once? Like, and he was I like, doubt uh, it. Um, damn think that it was he's on not a big Michelle Yeoh fan. Much eh? wa must, must watch Queensland theater list. Yeah, I mean, I do think this is where soft power can help, but obviously this guy's probably aged out of it. It. But I think those Italian college girls, I think that's why that was hurtful. That video, even though it wasn't that malicious, it was hurtful because like, oh, this generation of Italians too. I thought they knew better. Look at all the K-pop, all the Chinese movies, all the Chinese food. Oh, why? We're losing the next generation. Yeah, and I think that that's why it went so viral because both these incidents, not that they're like super shocking what happened, but they remind people of an era that people thought was bygone, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. let us know what you think in the comments section below guys keep it civil uh we're the hop hop boys discussing silly to serious things until next time we out peace